Well, welcome again, everyone. And um, what I want to do in this video is I'll be getting some requests uh, from people for me to show them how I actually go on about indexing my machine and actually finding a particular spot, namely the 0, 0, 0 point uh, on a particular piece that I want to machine. And uh, what I have here is, again, you, if you're familiar, my, uh, my CNC machine, uh, I removed the dust hood. Uh, you can go on ahead and take a look at the video we did on the dust hood uh, before, uh, see how I did that. But, uh, you know, what I'm making pretend here is let's assume that I have a piece of, uh, have a piece of wood here uh, that I'm about to, say, machine some part out of. And um, I needed a particular spot right here to be my 0, 0, X and Y points. Uh, but I also needed to very accurately set the Z height uh, for this piece of wood to actually make sure that zero is at the top of this piece of wood here. How would we go about doing that? Well, the first thing is I have a Mach 3 uh, plugin that actually allows me, uh, it's called a Center Finder uh, plugin, as well as a, T, uh, as a Z Touch plugin, and I'll show you the screens for that here in a minute. I'll pick the camera up uh, to see how they work. But before we go ahead and do that, I want to show you a couple of probes. First, I have a cable, as you can see here. Uh, it's flexible. This connects to the back of my CNC, uh, CNC machine controller. And I have mapped a pin uh, to the back of my breakout board to actually touch this off and give me a signal. And you'll see how this is used in a minute. We'll leave the cable here. And then I have created a couple of uh, touch probes, if you will. The first one is this one. It's a... Uh, about an inch square uh, lex uh, plexi plexiglass where I actually machined uh, on the CNC machine a circle that accepts a typical uh, water copper pipe. You can get this on any home store. And uh, off this copper thing I've attached a little bit of wire that allows me to actually attach the, the alligator clip um, on, that, uh, on that cable that I showed you. Uh, and then precisely in the middle of this, I don't know if you can see right there, I have machined a hole, again the CNC machine did it, an eighth of an inch, and then I placed an eighth of an inch pin. Uh, actually this pin is a salvaged old uh, uh, tool, carbide tool that I had, uh, had broken off, and uh, I salvaged the one eighth of an inch uh, pin. And uh, you'll see how this is used in a minute. Um, so very, very simple design. Uh, to actually allow me to find the center. And you'll see how the tool basically, uh, with the touch probe, finds the exact center. So this is for my X0 and Y0. Uh, you can also use this for your Z0. Uh, just measure the total height between here and have the tool touch on top of this copper piece. But for that, I have another probe, if you will. Very simple. Uh, it's a piece of uh, a PC board, PCB board. Um, you can get this at Radio Shack. Uh, you know, copper top, and then again, uh, I soldered on uh, a piece of wire that allows me to attach my alligator clip. And I've precisely measured with a caliper the thickness of this. It's 0.06, and you'll see where we offset that. So, how do we use these probes? You know, how do we use them? Uh, let me just move the camera here because I want to show you the Mach 3 screens. Okay, hopefully you can see that. That's my Mach 3 screen here. I'm going to zoom in a little closer. And uh, right here, there is a plugin from Mach 3. It's called Probes. And one allows you to find the center of a particular location. There's another one that actually allows you to find the Z height. And as you can see here, to zoom in a little bit there, I have actually have placed here the 0.06 thickness of the plate. So the process is really you just hit the center of that. The tool moves to the left and to the right, up and down. It hits the sides of the copper pipe and then precisely places itself in the center. And you'll see that in action. And then for the Z, the two lowers until it touches the Z and then backs off to give you precisely zero. And that's how you basically index zero, zero, zero. Now before you do that, make sure all your axes are referenced for home. Don't really need to do that. As you can see now, my X and Ys are set to one and two. I really don't care because I'm going to find this here in a minute. But my Z is also zero. Make sure this is zero. Okay? And then after we find the center down here, we'll go back and make everything zero, the X and the Y, okay? Now, very important point here, and I have to make sure I absolutely highlight this. As you saw, let me swing back to the machine. <coughs> I have created a cable that actually touches a pin in my controller. Now, what must absolutely make sure happens is that when this 
cable touches the bit, the tool right here, that you get the proper signal indication on Mach 3, which means your machine is properly grounded and that it's actually detecting that touch. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm touching the, the tip. Let me show you what happens on Mach 3 screen when I do that. Here's what happens when I touch the tool to the bit. You see that? That is a proper indication. Without this, do not attempt to center or uh, touch off your z-axis because you're going to damage the bit or you might get injured. So make sure that the signal is properly mapped. There's a lot of directions on this. Go to my website for links or uh, go to CNZ Zone uh, and, 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 and people are on there. But uh, specifically describing the configuration and wiring of this. But make sure this make sure this absolutely happens when you touch swing around again, when you touch the tip of the probe to the tool. Okay? Very important. Alright. So now we have the camera back up there again. So how do we find X0 and Y0? So on this piece I measured and I actually drilled a one-eighth of an inch hole where I want my 0, 0, 0 to be. And then I take my first probe here and I very easily place it in that hole. Now, because the diameter of the hole that I drilled and the diameter of the uh, uh, tool that I have, you saw a little pin on the bottom is precisely, they're both one-eighth, this thing doesn't move and it's over the center. I then go on ahead and connect my alligator clip to the wire. And as you can see, I have my machine above it. I'm going to jog my machine a little lower here. And make sure that roughly the tool is somewhere within that copper pipe. Okay? I'm going to try and move the camera actually closer so you can see it better. So once we have that set up, I'm going to go in ahead and hit this button here. And when I hit it, you'll see what happens. Okay? Let me just make sure I move it closer so you can see it. All right, right there. Let me go on ahead and hit that button, and let's see what happens. Right there, we are spot on at the center of that hole. You see how the tool moved to the left, to the right, up and down, and then it placed itself directly in the middle of that hole? We have now precisely found X0 and Y0. So let's go back to our to our uh, Mach 3 and let's zero out our X and zero out our Y. Perfect. You are at X0 and Y0. Well, let's do the same for the Z. Actually what I like to do be before I, I uh, Go use a touch probe to actually zero the Z out. Obviously it's not zero because it hasn't touched off, but I zero it out. Now at this point you can also do a reference all home if you're referencing your machine and it's in a home location. You don't have to, but here's a Z zero. And then with a different plate I'm going to actually touch the Z here. Okay? So let's do that next. Okay, just place the camera down again. I'm going to raise my Z up a little bit. Remember, do not touch X and Y, but even if you do, you know where zero, 0 is because it's now uh, already done. So we're going to remove this, and I'm going to use my other probe, which is this. I touch the wire again to that. And now it doesn't really matter where, right? We just place it somewhere on the, on the piece. Make sure it has good flat contact with it so the machine can come down and touch it offset the point 0.06 and there's your Z0. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Let me just hit that Z. Notice how the Z, I'll just move my, to my other hand here. Notice how that Z is actually going down and as soon as it touches that plate, it's going to back right off. Right there. Okay, as soon as it touched that plate, it backed right off. You have now precisely determined Z0. And if we go back to our Mach 3 screen here, you'll see that it backed off. It's now at uh, 1.1605 as you can see there. So just like that, you have now determined your X0 and your Y0 
and your machine is completely indexed and ready to cut. You now can just hit the run button and uh, cut your part. Okay, so that's a little bit on uh, how I index the machine. I have uh, used a couple of probes, as you can see, that I've built. You know, my X0 probe and the touch plate probe. Nothing to keep you from using the same probe. Forward any questions if you have them. Don't forget my website uh, at cscguitar.com. Uh, be posting a lot more information. There's a lot of work that's currently also being done on that site. Uh, make it look a little better. And uh, thank you all for your comments. Uh, if you have any questions, please forward them. Take care. Thank you.